In this exercise, we're going to look at two examples, two example exercises uh, that follow on from using while loops. So, for example, the first one: randomly generate eight integers. Eight integers. Now, I'm going to let's say pick between ten and forty-nine, just to sort of lay out some sort of ground rules or something like that. That would have a standard deviation that's a natural number. So, when you compute the standard deviation of the this eight numbers, uh, essentially you get a number like five, six, or seven, something like that, something nice and natural, so to speak. Uh, rather than let's say a real number like 7.6281 so on so on. Second task is randomly generate two arrays of length 8 that have a Pearson correlation of 0 0.80 or more. I picked length 8 because just to sort of for the sake of time we'll just sort of use uh, what we learnt in the first exercise. So import numpy is np okay so let's get started. So what we're going to do here first off is we're going to just show how to generate uh, an integer, an array of length 8. So it's np.random uh, rand int. Now uh, between 10 and 49, so uh, what we would write here is 10 and 50. Uh, so in uh, 10 and 49 inclusive that means we start down at here 10 so essentially when we use the command here it can pick uh, it, 10 can be picked uh, but uh, 50 won't be picked from this the highest number uh, integer that would be picked if we specify the upper limit as 50 is 49 so that's exactly what we're doing and also what we're going to do there is uh, specify 8 integers so that's how to compute random integers let's run that now this is very slow when I'm running the screencast software and oh no it's not, it's not too slow uh, so that's uh, something like that those are 8 integers between 10 and 49 inclusive okay and um, so we're going to call that x I'm just going to go back here a second just call this x now how do we compute the um, the uh, standard deviation of that. Well, it's numpy mp dot std. That's standard deviation of x. Let's run that. So that's how we compute the standard deviation. So that is the standard deviation. There is thirteen point one four one zero. Okay. So what I want in, in this case, what I was, I'd be hoping for is like an integer value of 13 and 14 rather than a real number like that. Just as a sort of quick remark, uh, what would be the floor function of that? I'm going to use the floor function here now later on. The floor function is what is the integer that precedes that in the number line? So it's np dot floor, and let's run that. It's 13. Okay, so um, in this case, I'm going to use this here again. Is the um, oh nope? Is the I'm gonna, the let's use this here? Is this an integer? Is the, is the standard deviation here an integer? Now, if it's an integer, it is equal to its own floor function. Okay, the value is equal to its own floor function, and in this case, is the standard deviation of x equal to the floor function of x? And in this case, the answer is going to be false. Not equal is exclamation mark equals. It's not equal. They're not equal to each other. Okay, true. Okay, we're going to use that as the logical condition in our while loop that we're going to write now. So that's actually our logical condition. While that is true, what we'll do is generate and use uh, x. So while this is our logical condition, put that in. Uh, let's put in the whole thing here, actually. Now, while all, uh, that, now what we put in here is put a semicolon at the end, 
And while that is true, while they're not equal to each other, what we will do is we will generate a new uh, set of integers. Okay. Let's have a look at that. What do we get there? It might take a while to run. It might not. Let's see. Oh, actually, sorry. NumPy dot standard deviation of x and what is that? Might be nice. Ah, nine. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. So, uh, by the way, this is almost a silly exercise. Why would you do that? I actually do it all the time for, uh, you know, uh, by hand standard deviation, calculate standard deviation by pen and paper exercises. Let's move on to uh, exercise two where we have to compute the correlation coefficient. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up X or uh, have it such that the correlation coefficient is uh, 8 or not point 0.8 or above. So what I'm going to do here first off is I'm going to have X and Y and these are going to be two uh, integer, uh, sets of integers okay randomly generated between 10 and 49 by the way that wasn't specified I'm just using the same um, uh, the, all I said is that they had to be 8 but I'm just using the same bit of code again because it doesn't really matter uh, so we have X and Y here okay now what we have to do is find out the correlation coefficient so car coef that's from numpy of X and Y okay now this is actually give the correlation matrix okay so here as we have it now the correlation coefficient that's a correlation matrix but you see it's 1 then 0.2738 and so on that's actually the value we're looking for so uh, top row it's this value over here is the one I'm looking for so the top row is row 0 and it's the second column so 0 and 1 okay and that should give me the correlation coefficient not 0.27 as a single value rather than in built in a matrix okay now what I want to do is randomly generate uh, X and Y such that they are um, uh, greater than 0.8 so what we're going to need here is a logical condition is this greater than 0.8 False. Is it less than 0.8? True. Okay, so that's the logical condition. So every time it is less than 0.8, it will repeat. That's the idea of a while loop. So let's do that here. Let's use this bit of code here. This is our logical condition. I'm going to miss the N at the start. Here we go. So while put in my N, I, I forgot to put in my N. There we go. Well, that and then a colon here at the end. Do I have? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, uh, semicolon there. And what we'll do now is we'll just regenerate a new uh, uh, set of pair, uh, pairs of set, uh, two sets of integers, x and y again. If the previous uh, pair do have a correlation of 0.8, of less than 0.8 then what will happen is that it will generate a new pair and keep going until this while statement uh, is until we get a false here basically until the while the, the breakout for the while statement is that it's false that it's greater than 0 0.8 now that was pretty quick actually I was expecting it to, to, this to take ages so let's see what is the correlation coefficient of x and y Not point nine zero two. Okay, that's good. So that's a couple of while loop exercises for NumPy. There, you know, these little sort of exercises are great to pick up when you're starting out numerical computing. Okay.